back in the day, I used to have a lot of patients who would ask, what if my insurance doesn't cover participation in a clinical trial? I had some um, law enforcement organizations that had really old plans that really excluded oncology clinical trials from their, from their um, benefits. But these days, I don't see that very much anymore. I'm not sure if there was a change in legislation. I believe part of the Affordable Care Act did suggest that insurances did need to cover clinical trials. But do you get that question? Are patients asking you, what if my insurance doesn't cover a clinical trial? Um, they, they certainly do ask that question. And there's some patients where in their insurance won't cover some of the costs of the clinical trial and where that could be a barrier for patient participation. Many times the institutions have some resources that they can um, provide to the patient to help um, cover that gap. And sometimes the sponsors have some resources that they can provide to help the patient participate. But in other situations, it's just doesn't make sense for them um, and they choose um, not to participate as a result. One of the nice things I think is that Medicare tends to cover yeah. all clinical trials flows. And I think same for Medicaid. So patients who are on government insurance or need um, their insurance because uh, have a special uh, government insurance because they can't afford to get a um, commercial insurance um, often can participate in clinical trials and have them covered.